dear friends this was one of the query which uh, i had got from one of the user so he was saying ramzan i have some data over here and then when i move the spin over here so automatically it gives me the name of the different cities so how do you create that that when i click it moves so the practical use of this comes over here which is in a yearly data and over here you have a data of from 1990 to 2020 it's a big database uh, of year of quarterly sales and here is the actually example so if you wanted to present this data in the chart it's not possible uh, very easily so here we use this spin button so when I click on it and here you will see all the years are changing so I'm getting each year each quarter data so and automatically when I'm clicking on this here year is also changing and uh, the data is pulled from here in the chart and it shows so the practical use of this is over here uh, but uh, as uh, he had exclusively requested for this example so what I will do in next few minutes I will show you how do we do that so I go to my spin uh, sheet over here and uh, the first step is I will go to the developer this is a developer tab where you will get the spin button okay so to get this developer tab you have to go to the file you have to go to the options which is in the end in that you have to go to the uh, customize ribbon and in customize ribbon you get an option developer so I, I wish uh, I want you to just enable this first okay so when you get developer you get this okay so I come over here in insert and here is your spin button so I click on spin button and let me draw one spin button over here so I will just draw and keep it so this is one spin button so whenever you will click on this it should move how do we, it moves I will show you step by step okay so let's move ahead so over here uh, I want I will just put one uh, I will select one cell over here I say equal this just to give you the example the intention of this video is not, not just to do the intention of this is to explain you how actually it is done so I will go very step by step so that you can understand so I say equal B2 I have just put B2 over here that's all okay let's understand this over here okay and now what I will do I will go to the insert and uh, he wanted that in a big box I can put the green color over here made a bit big box but he wanted in a very different way so I will do exactly the way he had requested me so I will create the box over here uh, I will put the green color in this and here here in this after selecting a box I will say equal and I click on Mumbai enter so this Mumbai came over here and then I will make it center and then you can do all this uh, alignment work and I say let's say bold I increase the font size and here I make the center vertical horizontal both uh, perfect let's have this way so now I want when I move this here it should change from Mumbai to Pune to Chennai so how it is done okay so what we do we oh, we do over here we right click on this spin button and over here you get one option format control in format control you will get this now here you see current value 2 because I have pressed this two times so it is current value 2 so ignore this here in minimum value you say 1 and in maximum value you say 5 or if you have a big database you can just see the last number and you can put and you can put 3 4 more extra should not be a problem and I will put my cursor over here cell link which cell you want to link it means when I click on this which cell should update so when I click on this it will update the number one two three four so let's say it should update this one and I just say okay done now you see it's not yet done huh? you have to wait for a few more seconds so I can I click see two three four five it's happening over here so now I will say equal and I will remove this and you will use your regular formula equal we look up search this two comma where you search in this column but I wanted to pull the B column so you will select both the column comma 2 comma 0 why I have put this 2 I hope you know the VLOOKUP so 2 is the column number which I wish to pull enter that's all 
so now when i click on this this will become one when this will become one this will become mumbai when this becomes mumbai this become mumbai so i click on it and here it goes perfect got it so this way basically it is done dear okay so now after that you can select this and you can say over here hide or you can see my another video instead of this i have explained another way so i say control one i go to the custom and over here i say three times semicolon so semicolon 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 that's all and you say okay so now in future even if a person puts the color over here he will not see what is behind it okay so now when i click on this and here you go perfect so this way basically it is done dear but the practical example which i give in my training and on my website is this one that how do you create all these things so uh, this was a big video five minutes but can be done in two to three minutes uh, but it was just an explanation for you so i went a very step by step i hope you have understood if you have any queries feel free to connect thank you so much